Hello, everybody. Welcome to Excel video 322. I'm Nate Moore. Rather than start the video telling you what I'm up to this time, I'm going to walk you through a real-life example of something we're working on right now with this example and how it applies to pivot tables. What we've got here is I've sorted our bill charges by month. And the challenge I'm faced with is I've got a client that does cut off the last couple of days of every month. The last couple of business days is the way they do it. So the month of January might start last couple of days of December and run through all but say the 27th, 28th of January and then January 29th starts in February. The problem is if you try to do that and then group your dates like you typically do in Excel, this January isn't really what they want. This is January 1st to the 31st and it doesn't have the cutoff you need. And what you end up having to do is you have to go out and ungroup these dates and say, okay, well, let's scroll down here and let's say February is really these three dates and it goes down through here all the way, say, to the middle of, or towards the end of February. And then what you've got to do is go every time, pick those dates off the list and it take forever. And so that's not the solution. The solution is, what we've done is we're going to go out and write custom code in SQL Server behind the practice management system. And we're going to go through and do what we're calling here a cutoff month. So let me drag this out of the way and let me show you what cutoff month is. What cutoff month is, is we're going to go to SQL and we're going to say, hey, we'll give you a list of all the dates in the, this year, last year, next year, maybe go out several years and tell you what month and year they are. And then we'll put the month out there and that's what we'll uh, group by and sort and pivot and filter, all that good stuff. So April, the month of April here is probably, say, March 29, 30, and 31, all the way through April 27th or 8th or something like that. That's what this is. The problem that we run into then is, because SQL's done the calculation, comes back and says April, August, December, the problem you run into is this is clearly not sorting right. And if you sort A to Z and Z to A, it's sorting alphabetically. It's not sorting the way you want it to. To make it sort the way you want it to, you've got to do two things, and we really will get to the pivot table options menu to make this work. But before you get there, what you need to do is go to File and Options, and then in Advanced, you kind of got to scroll for a little while. Edit Custom Lists. What you need is a custom list that looks like this. You can put it in a group of cells and then import them into this list, or you can just type them in the list. Like this, see how we've got January, February, March, April. When we enter them, we enter them in the right order, and this is a custom sort list. So what we can do, once we have, again, I'm in Excel Options Advanced and scrolling all the way down until I see Edit Custom Lists. Once I've done that, now I can go to the Pivot Table Options menu. From there, I'm going to go Totals and Filters and use Custom Lists when sorting. If I turn that on, that says, hey, I've got a custom list out here in that field, in that uh, options in advance where we just were. I want you to use all my custom lists when I sort Excel. So by doing that, see, now we're A to Z, Z to A, A to Z. Now I can do a custom sort with a custom list, and my cutoff month thing works for this client I'm helping. And that's the trick. You've got to have, well, you've got to have somebody write the SQL for you first to get a cutoff month out there. Then once you do, you go teach Excel January, February, March, April. And by default, Excel knows this one, by the way. And then options, totals and filters, use the custom list. And you can use this to sort, say, the physicians in your practice by the date they joined. Or you want to sort your locations or your facilities based on when they were opened or geographically or however other way you want to sort besides A to Z and Z to A. You can do that. And you don't have to rely on the manual sort thing we did before either. You don't have to drag them in order every time. You get that custom list in there once, and you're good to go. It's a clever trick that's helping the group I'm working with get their cutoff right so they don't have to go manually check off dates on all these uh, lists anymore. And it's a great way to use a custom list in a pivot table. I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.